This one is for my foodies that love a good roast pork, but you don't want to do it in the oven. It's going to be done on the stove top. Very simple steps, okay? And it is absolutely scrumptious. So let's get started. To season the pork, I am going to be using some green seasoning, which is a blend of herbs and aromatics, some crushed allspice berries, in here, I have some grated ginger and minced scotch bonnet. If my green seasoning has scotch bonnet, then I won't bother to mince some scotch bonnet, but that one has none. And in here, I have some jerk seasoning, seasoned salt, some all-purpose seasoning, black pepper, paprika. Over there, I have brown sugar. And now I'm adding a little browning to my green seasoning. Everything is going to be listed in the description box below the video. And just remember, you can season your pork however you like. Sometimes I'll just go in with powdered seasonings and then garlic and ginger. It just depends on my mood. So season to your liking, okay? If you can't be bothered to, you know, source all of these ingredients, you can always go in with one of your favorite marinades or a nice jerk seasoning, a wet jerk seasoning. And then what we're going to do is we are going to create some slits in the pork and then we're going to rub this marinade into it and all over it. There are many ways to do this. You could cut this in half. You could remove the bone if you want to. But I have my pork shoulder here with the fat and the skin on. I'm not removing that skin and the fat underneath. Okay, that's flavor and we love it. Okay. So this has been rinsed with vinegar, cool water, and I pat dried it. Now I'm just going to poke some holes in there and rub the seasoning all over and into it. Now remember, this is going to be done on the stovetop. So you need a pot that will be able to fit this. If it's too big, you can cut it in half. You could remove the bone. It's really up to you. You just want to make sure that whatever pot you're using, it's not too thin and uh, because you're going to be using it for a while on the stovetop so you don't want something that burns easily and um, you want something that's deep enough to fit your roast so what i'm going to be doing guys is i'm going to use half of the marinade on this side then i'll flip it and massage in the rest of the marinade if you want to you can actually you know just remove this the bone and you know, slice it open and roll it back up. It's really up to you, but this is the easy way. You just have your clean roast ready, prick some holes in it, season it for, you know, 24 hours or overnight. This pork roast is well seasoned, guys. Ideally, you want it in the fridge for 24 hours. Then the day that you're going to make it, take it out of the fridge for at least 30 minutes just to take the chill off. What we're going to do now is just to brown the pork roast on all sides in some oil. So I'll start with this side. And then if I feel like it's sticking, I just rotate the piece of meat a bit. And then I don't really time it. I just lift and check to see when it's getting some color. Then I'll flip it over and you can continue to brown it on all the other sides as well. If it's not perfectly brown, don't worry because it's going to get some color the more I cook it. All right. So what we're going to add now is a little water. You could use some 
um, broth if you prefer. Just remember that the rolls should not be completely immersed in that liquid. You just need a little liquid. And then it's going to come up to a simmer. You're going to add scallion and thyme. You can add garlic, ginger. I'm going to be adding um, a little soy sauce. And then what we're going to do is put the lid on and let it cook slowly on the stove. So listen carefully guys, you want your heat on low. We're gonna put the lid on, but leave some space for some air to get out of there. Then we are going to be cooking this over low heat for about an hour and a half or an hour 20 minutes. Every 15 minutes, you're going to baste the pork with that liquid that's in the pot. Every 30 minutes, you're gonna flip the pork so 30 minutes passed and I just flipped it then I'm gonna cover it and let it continue to cook while I'm basting occasionally of course if you are using a larger roast you might need more time than I did if you're using a smaller roast then you might need less time than I did but an hour and 25 to an hour and 30 minutes is what I needed and it worked perfectly. So my pork roast has been in the pot for about an hour 25 minutes. It is good to go fully cooked. I'm just gonna take it out of the pot and let it rest. If you slice this up immediately, all the juices are gonna run out. So just give it a little time. All the liquids that are in the pot are gonna be used to make a gravy. You can make that gravy and then put back the meat into the gravy and baste it with it, or just rest the meat on the side and do the gravy. So all the juice is in the pot. I strained it. I took out some of the oil and I'm going to be cooking some onion, some garlic, carrot and bell peppers. Then I will add the strained liquid along with some other ingredients to make the gravy. Once I've cooked these for about a minute, then I'm going to add some flour. Just stir that in and make sure you have your heat on low to medium. The flour is just going to help to thicken the gravy. If you want to leave out that step, it's fine. You can just add a slurry at the end. Try to cook the flour for at least half a minute. Then this liquid I'm adding, that is just the strained juices from the pot. Now I'm going to add water, but you could add some broth if you prefer. Now I'll be adding chopped scallion, some fresh thyme and ketchup. At this point, most of what I'm doing is eyeballing. I don't measure okay so i'm just adding some ingredients to make this gravy to pour on the pork once it's served i like to add a little grace fish and meat sauce but you could use some oyster sauce or hoisin sauce there's pick a pepper sauce whatever your favorite sauce is And then you can add some all-purpose seasoning or jerk seasoning in there, some black pepper. Make sure you taste the gravy, okay? I cook this to my taste. I rarely measure when I'm making a gravy. I just add and taste. If it's looking too thick, I go in with more broth or more water. 
I gave it a taste. It needed a little salt, but instead of salt, I added soy sauce because that's going to give me salt along with other flavors. So I just, you know, poured some soy sauce in there. I'll let this simmer. Once I'm happy with the flavor, we are good. Oh, I almost forgot. I did add some allspice berries and a scotch bonnet and then i just cover this up and let it simmer if you want to you could return your roast to this gravy and let them simmer together or just keep it on your cutting board and simmer the gravy by itself Once you're done with the gravy, you can slice up that roast and look at that crust. It's so flavorful, it's gorgeous, and the pork is fully cooked. So you don't have to put it in the oven if you don't want to, guys. It is completely cooked. Cooking it over that low heat is going to give you a juicy, flavorful pork roast. And then you have that delicious gravy. On the side or you can drizzle it all over the pork i had this with some rice and gungo peas that's jamaican style rice and gungo peas and a salad and it was to live for give this a try as soon as you get the chance guys remember to check the description box below the video for all the ingredients thanks for watching bye bye